If you clicked on this video, I hope you also got ADP not found issue. Even after you connected your device and ADB debugging is enabled. If you haven't done ADB debugging and all, please go to the video which I have created which explains about how to on debugger mode on your smartphone. But in some cases, even if you have done everything in the tutorial, your device will not list in the devices list to run. In that case, this video may help some friends as this method helped me. So let's get into the video. Here I have connected my phone using a USB cable to my laptop and USB debugging is enabled. But Android Studio is showing no devices and I am unable to run the app. I am getting this error message, error running app, no target device found. I checked whether my device is listing or not. I clicked on troubleshoot device connections so you will get a documentation in the right side. Here you will get all basic things you need to do. And I got a message no Android devices detected. Again I clicked on the same button and I got unable to locate ADB. First thing you have to check in this case is whether you have installed Google USB driver in SDK. So open SDK manager, then SDK tools and Google USB driver. It is already installed in my system. If it is not installed in yours, please install it. Then open device manager. Click on other devices, right click on ADB interface update driver software then click on browse my computer for driver software then click on let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer click on next have disk here click on browse go to the path where google usb driver is located it will be under android studios sdk manager in c android SDK, Extras, Google, USB driver. This is the location in my system. So you have to find where SDK is located in your PC. It may be inside program files in most cases. Then click on Open, click on OK. Click on Next, then you may get Update Driver Warning. Click on Yes. Then it will install driver software. Now you have Android ADB interface. Close that widget. Now you can see Android ADB interface here without warning sign. Now in Android Studio, my device is showing. Now the issue is resolved. This is what worked in my case. May this information helps you too. If this was helpful for you, please comment below or click on the like button so that this video can help more people. Please click on the subscribe button if you wish to see my new videos. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.